I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to the Tarantula YouTube Facebook group. They graciously allowed me to become a member a few months ago when I only had maybe three videos. Uh, they were very short clips set to techno music. Um, my uh, Grandma Solopulchra Snot Gurgle was going after a cricket and Yantara, my, my uh, Aphonopumlacalcades was pouncing on some prey. And that's about all I had and I wanted to join the community. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I wasn't sure if I was going to show my face. I wasn't sure how I was going to go about it. But the group helped me gain the confidence to actually talk in front of the camera. Even though I'm still struggling with it, I, I know that a lot of times I appear in front of the camera then I look at what I've just recorded and it's like, you don't really look like you want to be there. You're kind of scared still. So I really need to work on feeling the enthusiasm and feeling like maybe some people really do want to watch my videos and appreciate those who do and and do this for them. So uh, thank you so much. Waiting for the FedEx. Waiting and waiting and waiting for the FedEx. Rachel helped me out a lot, so I really appreciate that. And this is something special that I really wanted. It's uh, going to be one of the last things I add to my family for a little while. I need to get my tarantula room set up better and do some other things and that will be on my agenda for probably the rest of the summer. So uh, let's go see what's in the box. Here's one of the enclosures that I set up for my new additions. These additions are from Fear Not Tarantulas in Virginia Beach, Virginia. So this is going to be for the largest of the three. Here is another enclosure that I made from a Hobby Lobby car display. So let's take a look in here. Usually I cut my videos when I do things like this, but I've heard that some people like the suspense. So let's try that out. See if I cut off a finger. I mean, I really think that's what it is. Everyone's just waiting to see some blood from a slipped knife or someone who's clumsy with scissors. I'm gonna do my best not to do that because I have enough problems already. And besides, I cut myself, oh, I think it was a year and a half ago. I got a new knife set, and I knew if I got a new knife set for the first time in my life, I would cut myself. And sure enough, and I was doing that thing that people do where they take a knife and they try to open a package, and I should have used the scissors. It was right before we went on a trip, so it wasn't the funnest experience. Drove myself to the emergency room. Okay, so what we have in here is a beautiful business card. Fear Not Tarantulas, Inc., where beauty has eight legs. Tanya Stewart. Discover the joy of spidering. So that's what we're doing. We're spidering. So we've got this piece of foam on top. Take that out. And some pretty paper. Okay. So we didn't, I don't know if there's a heat pack in here. I, it's pretty warm out. So I can read some paper from uh, 
Maybe it's from Virginia. The Virginian Pilot, 33018. Three little vials here. They're kind of cool to the touch. They are sealed with some tape, kind of rubbery tape. And then they are all attached together with some painting tape. So I'm gonna untwist the biggest one. Set it over there. Untwist the second one. Untwist this third one. I know that the second one is going to go in here. We'll see how, how it looks. If I need to take extra precautions, I will go ahead and set things up a little differently. I need to get prepared. So what I have is a little catch cup. I have some bamboo forceps and some regular forceps and a paintbrush. It's actually a makeup brush. And I have my dog licking his chops in the background. So I'm gonna unwrap this tape. I know Tom Moran mentioned in one of his later, latest videos, I think it was the latest video, I watch a lot of his videos, about the dog drinking and the toenails clicking on the floor being kind of like his signature, like his soundtrack behind his videos. An inch, maybe an inch, let's see. Okay. I see someone in there. Oh, someone has a little bit of fur. There's movement. I don't really want toilet paper in the hide. This little one's way in the back. So I think that I'm just gonna pull this whole piece out. Okay. I know you're not trying to be gross, buddy. I might be able to just open this. There's a little hole. Oh. Now, I don't know if this one's going to be fast or calm or... I've definitely done research on these. I never get a tarantula without doing some research. I make a list and I, I keep a list so that I don't get confused if, if I want something. All right, we are a little black spood. Very nice looking. Can anyone guess who this is? Let's see if we can get a little closer. All right. So what we have here is a little black tarantula. It has some brown hair on its legs and it's making a little web already webbing I, I came out of my box and I'm webbing now that was an easy really easy unboxing compared to some of the rehouses and pouring some water some of the rehouses that I've done lately oh my gosh I mean they weren't that bad but still little different and I will reveal to you what this is. This is the Formictopus concerides, the Haitian brown. A really just a gorgeous a gorgeous tarantula to watch grow up and I didn't want to get the tiniest sling. Uh, when I was at the expo I saw some and I was like ah, little tiny ones. Then Fear Not had them, and Fear Not had something else that I really wanted, so there we have it. So welcome to your new home, little guy. Let you get settled in on your, your cork bark. 
Get some water in here. Peel this tape off. You might not really need to watch me do this. But maybe some of you just, what's your favorite part? I don't know. Right, Dave? I'm sure Dave from Erie Arachnids is uh, really enjoying this unboxing. So, someone pooped, of course. This is a species that I really did not find a lot of information about. I am really excited to make some videos featuring this species. Ooh. We got feet. Oh, we got feet. Hope you can see that. Yes. This one is a three inch female. It's so nice to get a guaranteed female. And fear not in their policy. You know, they make it clear that sometimes the best that they do and that they can still accidentally send you a mail. So, but they'll take care of you. You took a nice poo in there. Sorry, little girl. Okay. She's out. At least I can use my left hand. Couldn't use my left hand a little while ago. Wow, look at her. Come on, get that out. She is a gorgeous chestnut. I hope that that is showing up. Her carapace is a little lighter, almost red, and then her femurs are black. She's very slowly moving her legs so she can get a peek of what's going on. Get some better shots of her. So is anyone able to guess what uh, species this is? I have looked for lots of information and there isn't a lot of information about this girl. She looks really scared and I'm not sure if she's gonna come off of that paper with nudging. I might just have to let her come off on her own. And I've noticed that, at least with the old worlds, the ones that are scared, they like to bolt. I don't know if she'll just walk off, or I guess we'll find out. Looks her little toe hooks are in the paper. What a beautiful girl. I'm gonna try to get a couple, I'm gonna get a couple photographs of her, a little better lighting, and uh, leave her alone, let her settle in on her own. What an easy unboxing. Oh, don't let me forget, I have one more. <laughs> it's not over yet. I've moved her a little bit closer to her hide, so when she decides to walk, walk on her own off the paper, she will be right where she can feel comfortable. What is this? This is, so if you guessed that this is a Therophosinae species Rotan, which is the Rotan Island Purple, then you guessed correctly. What a gorgeous, gorgeous tarantula. So this one, is supposed to be tiny. I guess the question that I'm curious about, because Rachel told me that this one is really tiny. I wonder if it's a, if it's as tiny as the 
Euophilus species red or the Nandu chromatis that I have from Netbug. Even still, those two are tiny. This one was a freebie. I want to take a peek. I just want to see how... Oh yeah, now, yep, Rachel wasn't kidding. Now that is a tiny sling. That is a tiny, tiny sling. You're not going to be able to see it in there, uh, but it is, it is tiny. So I am going to figure out what to put this little one in, and maybe it can just stay in here. Uh, that may just be the best thing to do. I just need to pull this out and put some substrate in into this container. I looked for some fruit flies, but the local shop was out of fruit flies. So the trick, I think, is just getting these slings past this tiny, tiny, tiny stage. And so far, of the six slings that I received from Netbug, four of them have molted. The only two that haven't molted are the Euophilus species red, which I think is actually the Homoeoma species red, if I want to be more correct. Please let me know in the comments if I'm not correct. And the Nandu chromatis, the two tiniest ones, they have not molted, but everything else has. So what I'm going to do is just add a little a little substrate for this and I will unwrap it and then we'll tell you what it is. I have the vial that this sling came in and I've just added a little bit of cocoa fiber substrate and this is one that's going to need to be just little bits of water dropped in there. Sometimes I just use a, a dropper. I check them every day. All right, I'm gonna keep the paper upright so that I'm not twirling this little one around. Who knows, maybe it'll come out on its own, but I'm gonna unwrap, keeping the sling on its feet. One thing I will tell you is that I, I, I purchased a three, I believe it was three inch, um, a Phonopelma calcades from Ken the Bug Guy. And when she got here, she really set the bar for three inches. I don't think she's three inches. I think she's more like four or five. Oh, look. Who's that? Oh, my goodness. And I have tiny hands already. Let's see what we have here. A little one. A very little one. Isn't that amazing? This is the Cochiana brunipes, the dwarf pink leg. And this is a dwarf species, and this little one's not going to get very big. Oh, doing a little bit of the I'm a big spider, you see that? A little bit of the butt in the air, just a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to coax this one in to its new enclosure very carefully. Okay. It helps to have steady, steady hands 
If not, then just put this uh, vial down on the table and touch them lightly with a brush. So this little one webbed all the way along the inside of the vial and is now safely in its new home. There you have it. Wow. <laughs> adorable. Yep, adorable. This is an excerpt from a video by Daylight or Night called Formictopus Concerides vs. Mario Worm. And this is how I became interested in the Formictopus Concerides, watching Daylight or Night's video and seeing how beautiful this species is. It just sparked curiosity and I began doing some research and I thought, you know, this, this is a tarantula that maybe people take for granted that would be very special and an exciting addition to the family. So I'd like to give a shout out to Day Later Night who has 1.4k subscribers and really deserves a lot more. So I, I really highly recommend that you check out Day Later Night. Give him a comment on this video. It's I want to give a special shout out to Rachel's Eight Legged Wonders. Rachel helped me make this order with Fear Not Tarantulas. So thank you so much, Rachel. Definitely, I am really happy with the Fear Not Tarantulas order. Everything. I mean, it was spot on. And FedEx came when they were supposed to. It really couldn't have been any more perfect. The packaging, the labeling, everything. So, wonderful. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, check out more of my videos. Definitely, you know, look at my shout outs and leave me a comment. I will get back with you. And if you don't like the video, then click the thumbs down. And, uh, yes, have a great day. Bye.